A swimming pool is in the shape of the following figure. The homeowner wishes to create a canvas cover for the pool. How many square feet of canvas would be required to cover the pool? This is an area problem. Since we're covering the pool, we want to find the area. This isn't a problem where we want to enclose the pool with a fence. So I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to first find the area of these two distinct figures um, and then add them together. And then I'm going to find the area using the formula for a trapezoid. Okay, so the first way, I've got two shapes here. I've got this right triangle okay, with a base of 14 feet and a height of 12 okay, because it's sharing a side with this rectangle. Okay, so I want to find this area in feet squared and add it to the area of this rectangle. Now, the um, picture looks like this is a square, but because the height is not the same as this base here, it's a rectangle rather than a square. Okay, so um, this will be 12, this will be 16. The area of a triangle is um, one half times the base times the height. So plugging in, the base is 14 and the height is 12. And that is um, 7 times 12. And that'll be 84 feet squared. And this is the uh, rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is given by length times width. Pretty simple calculation. So um, it doesn't really matter which one you call the length or which one you call the width. Multiplication is commutable. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in as 12 times 16. And 12 times 16 is 192, and that'll be in feet squared. So I just need to add these two together. So adding them together, I got 276 feet squared. Now alternatively, you could recognize this shape as a trapezoid. We have two parallel sides and two non-parallel sides. And the formula for a trapezoid is the sum of the bases. I'll just call it base A plus base B. Divide that sum by two and then times the height. Okay, so we need to figure out what the two bases are. The bases for a trapezoid are the parallel lines. So I know from this figure that this base is 16. Now this parallel line, or this line here, um, isn't just 16 feet, it's 30 feet. Okay, so one base is 16 feet and the other base is 30 feet. So plugging those in, that's um, 30 plus 16, we're gonna divide that sum by two and then multiply it by the height. The height, looking at the figure, is 12 feet, so I want to multiply that by 12. Okay, putting this all together, I have 46 divided by 2 times 12, and that's 23 times 12, and putting that in my calculator, whew, comes up to the same thing, which is what I had expected. So either of these um, methods to find this area is are fine. Just take your pick.